me from my name is md90 welcome to my youtube channel if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on the bell notification to all so that you do not miss the uploads that come up and uh, the easiest way for you, for you to navigate the channel is to head to the playlist you'll find videos curated for you based on your interest so if you're interested in the kutika podcast you'll find a playlist for that on news and trends there's a playlist for that Exclu exclusive with md90 a bunch of uh, playlists that are created based on your interest so the easiest way to navigate the channel is head straight to the playlist and you'll find what you're here for. Now consider becoming a member of the channel. Uh, right next to the subscribe button is the join button. You click on the join button uh, so that you can become a member of the channel. Uh, you support the team on the production and the number of things that we're doing here and uh, we appreciate that. Well, the results from the Rwandan elections are out and uh, those are the percentages. President Pogagame has got uh, 99% of... Uh, those results in fact it's been more than 99 percent so uh, it, it garnered uh, 7 million out of uh, the 9 million total votes that were cast in those elections so um, he's currently in his uh, fourth term as president of Rwanda because if you remember the term limits were removed at some point should have been a term before this one where he, he had to contest for the third term so that's the situation happening in Rwanda uh, he has won by 99%. That's the highest percentage that I've come across of a presidential election. The one that comes close should, should be in Venezuela, uh, where the president also garnered uh, that's such a percentage. So this was during the process where him and uh, the first lady were voting some beautiful pictures from those uh, queues as they went to cast their votes. So uh, uh, the, those, those the results came in very fast. Uh, nine, nine, 9 million anyway is not such a significant number uh, uh, compared to other countries like the Democratic Republic of Congo, India, where uh, <laughs> the results have to, have to take a number of days. So President Kagame gave this speech or posted this on his official page right after those elections were announced. So he says this election process, the campaign, uh, we conducted, uh, conducted first uh, the voting and the results that have just been uh, released mean something significant in a person's life. It symbolizes trust, for which I am, th for which I thank you. Uh, trust is not easy to come by. There is nothing you can give someone to gain their um, immediate uh, trust. Trust is built over time. Uh, with this trust, over the years uh, we have spent together solving many difficult challenges. Uh, was there and uh, this time uh, you saw me at uh, at no loss of, of solution he has to say at, at no point did you see me at a loss for solution i am never defeated by challenges even in difficult situation we have gone through and will go through in the future trust is the reason for it all uh, trust makes um, makes me confident that uh, together there is no challenge uh, that will will not surmount President Kagame and also a presidential candidate for the RPF, which is the Rwanda Patriotic Fund. So that was a speech that he posted on his page on the 15th of July, 2024. And then he also attaches some pictures of celebration that is him again, the first lady and the number of people will be family members in celebration of the results. So... Okagame continues. This was uh, during the process where the first lady was voting also. That's Rwanda for you. What, what is in the U.S.? Uh, former U.S. Uh, pres President uh, Donald Trump picks the 39-year-old James David Vance as uh, his running mate. J.D. was the first, uh, first elected uh, to the U.S. Senate in 2022 uh, after defeating uh, former Democrat Republic, I mean, I mean, uh, representative Tim Ryan, for an open seat in Ohio. And uh, he, Donald Trump, has just been uh, just won the ticket for the Republican nominee, which is formal now. So that's the situation. Uh, this happened uh, just a couple of hours ago after he had been uh, shot uh, in Pennsylvania, uh, where he, an assassination, assassination attempt was done on his life. But in uh, some sad news, Zambia's uh, biggest celebrity or musician, uh, Yomaps, has uh, some predicaments that he's been going through uh, in uh, Namibia with the immigration department outside. 
So this is some news that I was hoping was, wasn't was real. <laughs> when, when it first broke over the weekend, I was hoping it was just one of those rumors that people like to spread online and then it will go away. So I didn't give it much attention. As you can see, I didn't say anything until it was officially confirmed that, yes, uh, that's a situation your mobs and his manager, DJ Kandeka, are going through in uh, Namibia. So uh, this is these are the details that we have so far. Uh, so he had posted uh, this picture on the uh, 13th July when he just landed probably in Namibia just to notify the people to say, yes, he's attending a show that side. This is uh, in, in his hotel room. And then uh, later on, it, it was confirmed to say uh, this had happened. So this was posted by Ebano Mwamba, a former ambassador to South Africa during Ed Galungu's campaign, I mean, uh, tenure. So um, Emmanuel Mwamba posted this update on your maps from NBC network Namibia. A Zambian uh, pub uh, uh, public service agency crowned the intelligence uh, service uh, Zambia, uh, CIS, has written to the Namibian Minister of Home Affairs, Immigration, Safety and Security, requesting that the minister reconsider the case of Zambian artist Elton Mulenga, popularly known as your maps. The renowned musician was uh, detained by the Namibian uh, immigration authorities over the weekend due to uh, complications related to the immigration, sta his immigration status. In a letter addressed to Dr. Albert Kawana, uh, CI CIS said Mulenga's intent was solely to entertain and uh, contribute to the cultural and economic landscape of Namibia. Your maps presence, uh, your maps is presence not only uh, delights audiences, but also brings significant economic benefits through his events uh, revenue, benefiting both Namibia and Zambia communities, CIS stated in the letter. The agency wants the minister to review and release um, Mulenga expeditiously. And, I, and it's, it has further requested that the minister consider waiving uh, any penalties and adjust his immigration status to facilitate his stay and activities in Namibia. The letter concluded that CIS expressing, expresses confidence that Namibian authorities would handle uh, uh, the appeal with uh, fairness and justice, reflecting the spirit of uh, uh, bilateral relations shared between the two countries and the cultural exchange between the two uh, nations. So that's the situation they had written to uh, with regard to the YOMAP situation there. But the video has surfaced to say uh, what really happened. It's it's quite uh, something. If you so this was uh, posted by Cliff. It has also been shared by Diamond TV. Uh, it was first uh, shared by Diamond TV, as you can even see their logo through uh, that video that, that you see on screen there. And then a number of people have, have posted it. So this Cliff Joseph says a video surfaces how your mobs was arrested in Namibia. I hope next time documentation will be in order. And all they, they will be experienced. I mean, they say, uh, all in all, I uh, will never have an experienced person without going through errors and mistakes. Uh, keep pressing on. It, it attaches uh, Kandeke. So here, here's a video of what happened, which was shared by Diamond TV and a number of uh, media houses. So your mobs was performing at, at this point, and then he was given a signal to stop. So he was just saying, "My, I love you guys. I have to, I have to go." And then he mentioned an artist that is. I just came to support an artist here, uh, my brother here. But you can see that security individual almost wanted to pick him up or something. But he had to say his goodbye. He was already signing off. It wasn't. I, I wonder why the immigration did not wait for him to, to finish his performance or something. Like that. But anyway, so you can see the officials are obviously are directing your maps to wherever they were. They took him. Yeah, he went to be arrested at this point. So um, he did not wait for his uh, performance to, go, to complete. This only goes to show someone had alerted the officials at this point to say, because uh, ideally they would uh, come to his uh, hotel room. That's where they would uh, conduct that arrest, not when the performance is going on. This was uh, <laughs> heavily intended to embarrass him because at this point, had uh, your maps uh, persisted uh, talking on stage, they would have literally dragged him off stage. So it's, he just literally walked off himself and then uh, obviously arrested probably backstage. It wouldn't have been nice for those pictures to be taken, but whoever communicated to the immigration department at this point did not have any uh, good intentions for your maps. That's why most artists you would find, they rarely update 
uh, in real time. So you find that if they visit Zambia, they would update like uh, almost uh, at a time when they're exiting or when they're performing because things like this, not everyone has good intentions, but anyway, that's what happened with your maps in uh, Namibia. And uh, Malsam had this to say, he says, Sani, your maps arrest in Namibia and uh, a, a reported beating by police there makes a uh, sad reading. We appeal to uh, the Ebo Foreign Affairs Minister Mulambo uh, Ahimbe uh, to take keen interest in the in this diplomatic incident of uh, national and public concern. So Ebo Sampa is alleging to say your maps was actually beaten, uh, though from the information that has been shared by the embassy, as I mean embassy in Namibia and uh, what we have so far, Nothing shows to that uh, to that effect, but uh, based on the relationship that the uh, mouse sample and your maps share, probably he must have shared that information to mouse sample in privacy, and then mouse sample shared it publicly to say the Namibian police actually beat him up and uh, Kandeke, but he's yet to confirm. Uh, he's in court right now from the information that we have. Uh, this was uh, the official communication coming from the Zambian embassy in Namibia, uh, posted by the you know, uh, European D Zambia. So they say, uh, your maps out of uh, police detention, uh, and then they put attached the date their window. Artist El Elton Mulenga, uh, commonly known as uh, your maps, has been released uh, from police detention on uh, court bail. The Zambian High Commission uh, in Namibia, Honorable Stephen Katoka, has confirmed that the artist is now at his hotel, uh, but will return to court tomorrow morning, meaning today right now he must be in court. Charges against his manager, DJ Kandeke, has been completely dropped. Uh, in this photo, you see your maps, DJ Kandeke, and Zambia's Deputy High Commissioner to Namibia, Mr. Lloyd, uh, there, after the artists were released uh, this afternoon. So Kandeke, obviously, since he, he did not perform, uh, he, he probably he only has the same visa as your maps, the visitor's visa in that country. And considering that your maps is the one that was making revenue on stage there, so uh, they dropped all the charges uh, against Kandeke, but he was also detained. It would have been a good uh, look for Kandeke to be out here and any artist is arrested. So the fact that they were both arrested is a good look for his manager. I've, I've seen other people of, of the public trying to appeal that your map is supposed to get an official, I mean, an, um, an educated uh, manager at this point, someone that is able to handle such things at immigration. You'd find that even big artists, I remember even a big artist from Nigeria was uh, faced immigration issues. So you, you can never be too ready. Your maps has communicated to the public to say at no point is he going to fire DJ Kandeke. Kandeke has proven his worth to him and his loyalty. So your maps is sticking loyal to him. So this incident that is unpredictable, you, you cannot foresee it. They've traveled the world together at this point. So uh, such an error cannot cannot be uh, predicted. It's just it's it's an, it can never be ready. It can never be too ready. So that's not not grounds for him to fire him at this point. So I don't see your mobs firing and take it over this incident because he knows it's not, he, he couldn't have foreseen it. Obviously, some more pictures surfacing. This was after their release. So uh, just uh, say the renowned uh, Namibian DJ, DJ Sia uh, in green, uh, in the green top with your mobs and DJ Kandeke in window of Namibia uh, this afternoon after the two Zambian nationalities uh, were released from detention in that country. Your mobs is expected to appear in court, meaning today right now so most likely it's just going to be a straightforward issue they'll come back to zambia so it's either they are going to be deported back to zambia or simply those charges will be dropped and uh they'll come back if they're deported that becomes an issue for them if they want to go back and perform there but based on the relationship that zambia and namibia share most likely those uh, charges will be dropped and then the right uh, clearance will be given to him if he needs to perform there further or he wants to come back home but obviously the energy might be off and he might prefer to come back home to Zambia. But in other news, the Anti-Corruption Commission is making news also. <laughs> uh, uh, um, an academician from the US of Zambia has written an expose with regard to the Anti-Corruption Commission, which has uh, sent waves all, all over the nation. Laura Mitty did a live stream uh, where she was explaining to say the president, Daka in the HMR, I'd assure the nation to say if anyone is alleged to be corrupt, it will be fired or suspended until those charges are proven, uh, that individual is proven innocent. 
So the best of the uh, allegations that have been presented against the body that is supposed to look at uh, corruption issues, the president uh, was uh, asked to uh, do some cleanup at a commission there by Laura Miti and obviously the, um, the academician that put up that article. Well, a lot of details were shared on that. Just check on the community tab on this channel, you'll find those, that, that information. That was posted in, uh, this is the Daily Nation. And then uh, Shishua, Shishua said, I've been vindicated, says Shishua. He is one, one of the people that uh, that was saying, President Hakani Deishema has no political will to fight corruption. Uh, the alarm bells were uh, raised as early as uh, 2022. Uh, this is Shishua, Shishua stating that. And then also Munia Zulu had commented to say he had warned the nation about the corruption that is taking place at the Anti-Corruption Commission itself. So uh, obviously, anyone who stands in uh, HLM as where uh, Tifianta, Tifianta, so that's an individual as a video secretary, no apologies to make, says in Goma. Uh, HHS decision to appoint and maintain corrupt individuals isn't an, uh, an oversight, says Shishua Shishua. So that's the news pretty much uh, dominating it. Aside from your maps situation, it's the uh, information coming from that corruption commission, or those uh, corruption allegations that is dominating the, the country's conversation at the moment. Uh, what else is in the news? This is the news, news diggers, uh, sanitize anti-corruption commission, Chifa uh, tips, so you see all the newspapers are reporting over that situation that's happening at the anti-corruption commission. So everyone is waiting on the president, what will be his next move? Because they are, they are sure the people to say anyone that stinks of corruption around him is likely to be fired. But uh, those statistics and that information, that dossier that has been released, we yet to get an update from the president or his office. Uh, anyway, the, the day is young. Let's wait and see how that plays out. At least uh, Kidis has shared this. Uh, this is a photo of them three days ago before the Yomap incident. Say, um, uh, this one plays too much, just the fun. She has stayed clear of uh, this incident, not making any updates with regard to that, but obviously she's tense of, about her husband being arrested there. But I'm, I'm glad she's staying clear of it, uh, just working in the background. Uh, we hope for the best for your maps. We, um, I'm pretty sure the, since the commission now is involved, everything will be ironed out. Now I do not know whether you would prefer to perform or come back home. Keep you updated if anything comes up. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. This was him. Uh, area on a picture, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a picture, my brother. <laughs> a picture, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a picture, my brother. <laughs>